everyone, this is Judy, and I've got exciting Gila Monster news for you. Three sightings during the month of May. This was the first on May 9th, a Saturday night. It was around 8.30 p.m. One of our dogs cornered it under a creosote bush. My partner kept an eye on the lizard while I put the dog in the house and grabbed the first flashlight that I could find. Unfortunately, it was not charged all the way, so the light ran out and I couldn't get much footage. It's not my best footage anyway, but I wanted to show it for recording purposes. This was the smallest Gila monster I've seen yet, not even close to a foot, so I'm sure it was a juvenile. This makes perfect sense, however, because my neighbor saw a baby Gila monster crossing the road around twilight on May 15th, exactly one week later. Now, unfortunately, she didn't have her camera with her, but she did on May 11th when she sighted Viva, the Gila monster I filmed last year on August 21st, 2008. Viva is the star of my video entitled Viva the Night for Gila Monster Lovers. After comparing the May 11th photo with my photos and video from last year, her distinct markings are evident and I'm 100% sure it's Viva. The coloration is different in these photos because of the lighting. The top photo was shot at night under artificial light and the bottom one was shot in morning sunlight, but it's definitely the same markings. So did Viva have babies? It's a good possibility. At the end of my video, I said that I hope to see her again, and we did. These are a few clips from her initial appearance last year. I hope that these three sightings during May are a positive trend for this summer and the survival of the species given the ongoing destruction and loss of their habitat due to development. Maybe that's one thing good about the economic crunch. Houses stopped going up. So more room for Gila monsters. But anyway, here's to Viva and all Gila monsters in the Sonoran Desert of Arizona. May they live long and prosper.